Step into the ring, it's time to rock the night. Sergeant Slaughter's here, ready for the fight. Do you tell the man with his gold and his flare? We've been through it all, we've gone everywhere. Wrestle Rock, where legends collide. With no sort of band and Johnny by our side. Tom the Hawk stops, Tom Rowan drops. We're the podcast that never stops. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to Wrestle Rock Podcast Season 6. I'm your host, Nostrada Ben, and I'm host this episode with my partner, Johnny D. How are you doing hey, today? Hey, I'm going great, my friend. Uh, hey, you feel so good, man. You too. Happy 40, yeah, uh, 40 yes, birthday. Happy 40, uh, 48 birthday. anniversary. 48th anniversary. Yes, exactly. Everyone, you know what? We are born in the same day on July 11th. So we celebrating our 40th anniversary with you guys. But we have a couple of things before our special with uh, Q&A with Lou Ferrigno. Ladies and gentlemen, um, we have a good partnership with LWA. Live wrestling auction. Yes. With uh, Jeff Laduke and uh, his team, of course. Yes. And the guys are super cool and uh, he organizing a lot of interesting stuff. And uh, on August 4th, the guys uh, organize a super signing on Sunday, August 4th, with none other than. Paul Leduc and his son Carl Leduc, and uh, I don't hope for- you remember the Leduc brothers, Joe Leduc. Yes. And don't forget, it's Carl Excel Leduc, yes. the terrorist of wrestling in yes. Quebec. Yes, of course. And uh, stay tuned for more details. And if you uh, want um, a super. Um, uh, super time uh, with the guys, so just go to the Facebook pages and tap LWA uh, Live Wrestling Unction. So, the main program, so the the, the, the main event. Yeah, but just before I... I, Yes. Can I ask a question for our Wrestle Rock Stars? Yes, of course. Do you love our new song? Yeah. Right on the commentary. Yes, uh, we have a brand new song and uh, we love it, honestly. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, between you and me, uh, one hundred times uh, per day. <laughs> since the uh, the songs uh, was released, uh, I I listen uh, every day uh, the, this uh, awesome song. So we are and, two mark of the two yes, marks of this song, and uh, we will um, announce uh, very soon a um, another guest. But uh, we need to just. Uh, clarify a couple of things so uh, here we go with uh, our uh, our main event <laughs> our main events and I don't know if you remember uh, during our podcast with uh, Nikita Koloff um, everyone if you uh, didn't see the the our full shoot interview with Nik- Nikita Koloff uh, we invite you to watch this uh, unbelievable interview of 30 minutes with uh, Mr. Koloff, and we discuss a lot of interesting stuff, like uh, his uh, beginning in professional wrestling and uh, his, uh, his relation with the, with, his defunct, with the horseman. Yes, the feud with the horseman. His uh, old friends, I'm talking about uh, Legion of Doom, uh, Kurt Henning. It was a really good uh, relation in um, in college and stuff like that. So go to our uh, YouTube channel. So as we announce, uh, we have uh, the opportunity to have uh, this uh Q and A. Um, go ahead for the announcement if you want. Yeah, it's uh, like I said uh, on the on the internet or on uh, or uh, our sp- social medias. Yes, it's like a little bit uh, a, a, an episode uh, like uh, Justin Thunderliger is not uh, 
It's not an interview, a virtual interview. It's yes. a, a little press conference Q&A. Uh, yes. Uh, no Nostradamus prediction. Yes. But I predict to him uh, healthy and yes. maybe a return as a Hulk yes. in a few months. And uh, as he said, uh, we're going forward uh, with uh, the first question. So uh, enjoy, everyone. Your questions. Uh, Jonathan from the Wrestle Rock Podcast. I have a, a special question for you because if my memory is good, uh, you were uh, in attendees for WrestleMania 7. Uh, my, my question is really simple. Are you still a wrestling fan, my friend? Oh, I love wrestling. I love to watch them. All the characters. I'm friends with Hulk Hogan, John Cena, all these people. You know, don't get me wrong. It, it's a tough sport. I mean, especially um, getting hit with a chair. I mean, it's a lot of work involved, especially the personality like Dwayne Johnson. I've seen him at Gold Gym. Yeah, I, I find it very fun to entertain him. And have you been approached by, by the WWE for uh, wrestling training or... Well, at the time, they had the World Bodybuilding Federation. I mean, I was never interested in being a wrestler. Fish Man did approach me about wrestling, but it's something that I wasn't interested in wrestling. I like to watch it exactly. because it's just like an actor. If you're not interested in the character, it's not going to work for you. I'm sense. more interested in the bodybuilder because that was my uh, passion. Thank you so much, Mr. You're welcome. Thank you for Yes, and uh, just rewind uh, all of this. Um, if we, the, 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 if we I, understood the question, yes, exactly. So the question was very simple. So uh, we remember in WrestleMania Seven yeah. uh, that the Mister Luferinu was present in the attendees. Yeah. Was in the and the question was really simple. So are you still a wrestling fan? And is. Uh, answer was awesome because he loved professional wrestling since over the years and he uh he he's, he he's, uh, seems to be have a good relation with the rock uh and he, he met him a couple of times uh, in a gold gym uh, he's a friend of Hulk Hogan too yes of course and you know so uh and um Benoit had the opportunity uh at his time to um, ask another question to Mr. Ferrigno. So let's go. Uh, Mr. Ferrigno, my question is, uh, uh, your father was a policeman. I read somewhere that your uh, father was a policeman. Uh, would you have chosen a career in the police force if you hadn't been a bodybuilder? Um, to be honest with you, because of my hearing situation, I couldn't be, be a policeman back then because, I, uh, you know, now I have a cochlear implant, I have a hearing aid, it's different. But back then when I was young, I could not get involved in a city worker, like for example, a sanitation worker or a policeman. But I admire him when he's as a police officer. That's why many years later when I had the chance to be a police officer. I think the answer is that if I was born in different situations, if I had normal hearing, I would never have been a bodybuilder. I would probably be a police officer, maybe like a detective. But it's funny that losing my hearing, God gave me a different gift. He gave me this passion for bodybuilding. So that's how life is. You grab that passion, like you lose something, you gain something. So quickly, uh, Benoit asked him uh, a really uh, simple question yeah. because he remembered that uh, yeah, for, his, uh, I, I repeat father, the, I repeat the question and the, the answer, of course. Uh, I I I ask to him, uh, your father was a policeman. Uh, would you have chosen a career in the police force if you hadn't been a bodybuilder? And his answer was uh, a quick answer because uh, yes. I don't uh, remember all he said. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, he could uh, not be a police officer because uh, he have a. Uh, if suffering, suffering, yeah, a, pr a trouble with the uh, beef, yes, at 80 percent, 70 80 percent, yes, of course. And, and, and but, uh, as he said uh, during the uh, the question, uh, life changed uh, for him after this, and but he he he, he love uh, he, he would like to 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 love. Uh, to be a policeman, but that's not the case. But the the life 
has been changed in uh, one chance he loved uh, bodybuilding and he did a, a awesome bodybuilding career his real passion was bodybuilding yes. like arnold schwarzenegger ronnie yes. coleman uh, jay yes. cotler yes and uh just just after the uh, my my question i don't know if you see that i asked him if the wwe approach him yeah. for uh, a wrestling training or uh wrestling appearance or stuff like that and he uh said that uh the wwe approach him but uh he don't want to be a, a professional wrestling and he his priority uh, is bodybuilding so uh, that 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 he, he will never be a, a professional wrestler for his answer to my question i have a little precision uh, maybe i i already said but uh, i prefer to repeat he has a uh, implant ear implant in in his ears okay okay yeah, yeah. definitely definitely and so uh, um he played in the in the series hulk yes hulk of course, series, of course uh, yes he played uh and if my memory is good uh also he has been involved with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, during the Popping Iron series. Yeah, uh, Mr. Olympia, uh, the competition Popping Iron. Yes, yes, uh, yes. It discovers a lot of interesting stuff. Um, uh, even though um, it was uh, sometimes uh, very hard to watch, or but it is what it is. That's the bodybuilding uh, life. So. Yeah, the, uh, the 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 Hulk series in the seventy uh, and the early eighties was uh, Doctor David Bruce Banner, uh, played by uh, the late uh, uh, Bill Bixby. Yes, of course, of course. Bill Bixby was the was uh, the David Banner. Yeah. And when uh, when he was angry, when he was uh, nervous, <laughs> yeah, transform uh, as a, a big red, uh, a yeah. big green. Uh, Big green machine yeah big green machine I mean. uh, hulk yes the incredible hulk and one shen he has a, a lot of uh talents and with uh his talents he can do practically everything he has been actor bodybuilder uh and now he is a, a speaker uh, as you can see during uh the q a so that's awesome, and we we had a fantastic time in private with uh, Mr. Ferrino, but uh, we can't record anything. But uh, it is what it is. So uh, since uh, already uh, maybe 20, 25 years, he, he goes to a uh, Comic Con. Yeah, not only in Montreal, in New York, Los Angeles, Boston, yeah. uh, everywhere on the planet. But, but between you and me, is very popular in Quebec. Oh yeah. Uh, I remember a few years ago, he still practically every year on Montreal or Quebec Comic Con, and uh, Quebec people uh, loves uh, him so much. You uh, you heard and you saw the crowd yeah. after our uh, yeah, answers of our questions. Uh, clack, 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 clack. Yeah. There was uh, practically 500 people oh, yeah. uh, in the attendance. A of and that was a, a very big challenge for us because uh, that's very different than just uh, made a promo during a wrestling uh, match in French because, as you, uh, as you know, uh, everyone, we are French-Canadian, and that's very different when you're, you had a chance to talk with uh, a legend as uh, Lou Ferrigno, and mostly uh, in front of 500 uh, people. So that's very different than the big channels. But we are very proud of oh, it. Of course, it yeah. was a, a very, uh, very huge. Yeah. Uh, it was a very uh, good opportunity to us to speak with uh, yeah. the green legend. Yes, of course. I don't, uh, I don't, uh, not not green about wrestling, <laughs> green about uh, the Monster Hulk. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Everybody knows that uh, his character of Hulk inspired Hulk Hogan. Yeah, oh, yeah, of course, of course, because uh, the, the 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 character of um, Terry Bolio, aka Hulk Hogan, has been inspired by uh, the Marvel uh, uh, comic book. A little no, bit I mean, uh, inspired by uh, Superstar Billy Graham. A little bit, a little bit. Because Superstar Billy Graham uh, said, uh, "Brother, that. brother, brother," uh, yeah. when he was a commentator. 
course. Of and course. Uh, of course, uh, the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> yes. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, exclusive content about uh, Lou Ferrigno. So we are on the YouTube. Uh, every week, days, we try to post uh interesting content for you guys and if you want to listen a good podcast so please share this uh content because uh we do our best to entertain you every day so don't forget the the event of at uh, the lwa on august 4th with uh, paul and carla zook for the nwa And we uh, keep it all secret for our next uh, guest. But uh, trust us, that will be fantastic. You will know who, uh, who will be. Uh, yes, it is that, that we have uh, trouble with yes, the internet. Yes, exactly. He has with a problem. Internet. Yes, he has a little problem with the internet. But uh, after that, uh, we cross uh, fingers for. For having him during our show. Thank you so much, and you watching uh, the uh, you watched sorry the Wrestle Rock podcast season five, the special uh, about uh, Lou Ferrigno's career, and also an exclusive content during the Comic Con in Montreal with my good friend Benoit. Oh. Happy birthday once again, my friend. Oh yeah, you too. Yes, thank you so much. And uh, we will uh, we will be back uh, maybe in a few days, in a few weeks. Uh, yeah. The action will be there. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Step into the ring. It's time to rock tonight. Sergeant Sawdust here, ready for the fight.